Hey guys, just a quick video on my Acom 1000. I replaced the tube in it. I blew the old one up a while back and it's taken me quite a while to get a replacement tube. But I did get it put in, it wasn't too difficult. There are instructions on on the web where you can find, uh, find out exactly how to do it. Not too difficult. I'm going to show you how to set the bias on the tube though. Okay, here's my Acom 1000 and I wish I had done this and taken pictures uh, during the process, but I removed the old tube out of the amplifier and this is what it looks like. It's not too terribly difficult to get it out and putting it back in, there's only one way it can go back in uh, unless you bend those pins. So that was uh, was pretty easy putting it back in. What uh, what you have to do to pull it out is you have to be careful of this little sensor. And then there's a screw here that comes out, and there's a screw there that comes out. I think that's a size eight metric. Uh, that's what I used anyway, and it comes out. Then you can pull out this whole bar along with the tube in the cover the tube slides out from the cover here and I just left this bar attached I loosened uh, this nut and I pulled the tube out and then slipped the new one right back in there and that's the new tube so I didn't actually uh, take this bar out of the cover this uh, plastic cover rubber and after the new tubes put in we have to put on the cage get a I have a couple of books that hold down this switch and this switch you'll see it when I adjust the idling current yeah this is uh, R1 right here and this is R2 we adjust uh, the bias uh, with uh, R2 first and then the bias with uh, R1 and after that's done, it's ready to be put back into operation. All right, I've got the amp on. It's been warming up for 15 minutes. And I've got it set to plate current. The first bias, uh, R2, is supposed to be set around 220 milliamps. So that's with a, uh, a CW carrier of about one to five watts anywhere in there I think mine's set on uh, four watts and I'm using uh, my Elecraft KX2 the, uh, the uh, antenna side of the amp is a uh, dummy load down there so uh, we want to see 220 on the plate current and uh, let's see I'm in FM mode and I'm just going to hit my transmit button my transmit button down here and I've got my foot switch hooked up so I can key the amp oh there you go got that red cable going to the back into the key key in key in port back there okay and you don't want to hold this down for too long all right so uh yeah should see uh about 220 it says 220 to 240 is fine so we're good there that would have been for r2 and i want to get my screwdriver i want a metallic one this one is r2 and if I wanted to increase or decrease that uh, the milliamps on the front uh, I'd rotate this I think clockwise is increasing counterclockwise is decreasing on this R2 so I, I hope you can see that now the next thing to do is set R1 and R1 we want around 70 milliamp and to do that we won't use the the radio 
the instructions say to put it in the sideband and uh, just key the exciter. So all I'm going to do is key my foot switch down here and it should read uh, 70 milliamps. There you go, 70 milliamps. Perfect. So I've got the tube in and I've got it set up so I'm ready to put it into production and I'll get it over there and connect it to my ICOM 7610. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please make them below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also tell your friends. 73 and good DX.